in the morning It's very important with Paul before I just know him I get the topics you wanna record it I'll never say no, that's boring What's going on YouTube? Naeem here and I'm back here with another banger video. Y'all see today's title and thumbnail. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to create and send the tech pack to y'all manufacturers. A lot of people be having problems with creating the tech pack to get tell the manufacturer what y'all want. When is really the easiest step out there? I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't wanna do too much talking. I wanna get straight into this video because a lot of y'all been requesting this video. Show y'all how I do and how I personally send my tech pack to a bunch of manufacturers because a lot of people be having problems with it. If y'all new, make sure you that like button, subscribe, and get straight into this video, bro. Alright, but so y'all can see on the screen right here, I'm finna be doing it on my MacBook because y'all can, I'm gonna obviously show y'all the storage unit. And we got the little setup right here. We got the MacBook right here. But first things first, y'all wanna do, making a tech pack is not hard at all, bro. A tech pack is literally basically just a picture explaining what your product is, like what is on the product. First things first, what y'all wanna do, y'all wanna get y'all a nice little product. Agonize hoodies, I got these aren't my statement if y'all wondering. This is my other clothing brand called Agonize, but I already made the tech pack and everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it again. What I do is I usually just make one hoodie tech pack and then I tell the manufacturer like the, all the different colors. Colors. Like, I only make one tech pack for per hoodie. Y'all wondering what dimensions this is? It's 1920 by 1080. I like to draw, like, let's say wherever a logo is. Say you see this logo right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a branch off of it. And I usually just circle it to show the manufacturer what it is. I'm gonna tell him real quick this is a screen print logo. What you guys wanna do is you wanna get that file. And what I personally do is I put the, the logo it is and then under it. I tell them what type of print I want to do. Right here, we're just going to put screen print under, but we got to make the background a little darker. Y'all can see right here, this logo is screen print. It's just as simple as it. It's basically like a blueprint for your hoodie. So the more details, the more helpful it's going to be for y'all manufacturer to make it and execute it, all that good stuff. They're going to look at the little line, feel me? They're going to see, oh, this logo is screen print. I would suggest putting the logo to where y'all line is. They can see that, okay, this logo is screen print. This logo is puff print. Yeah, I'm going to make it on another hoodie, like a more complex hoodie. So y'all could definitely see the differences, how to make it. Your hoodie isn't just this simple. Since this is just a simple hoodie, you really don't really need nothing for the tech pack. Like me personally, I didn't make a tech pack for this hoodie. I just told my manufacturer, I just want a screen print because it's just one logo and acid wash. What I personally like to do on every single one of my tech packs, I like to list the hoodie details. So I might put boxy hoodie cotton fleece hoodie and then in parentheses i like to put gsm so i might put 600 gsm or 500 gsm depending on what you want think about it like this when your manufacturer is making the hoodies they're gonna look at this picture see how to make it so the more details is in there better it's gonna come out to your liking because a lot of people be sending these manufacturers trash hike packs that really don't be showing nothing and then get mad when the manufacturer mess up like how that makes sense you ain't telling them what you want directly i'm gonna put custom woven size tag so we can let them know. And then I also do like putting the size tags on my tech pack too so the manufacturer could see that. So custom woven tag, I usually put it on the top right. You don't need no special designing skills for this. You just need to know how to use text. Woven size tag on the top right. We got boxy hoodie, cotton fleece, 500 GSM, custom woven size tag. And then I'm gonna put acid wash where logo is and y'all can see under the hoodie yeah I like it's a little bright where the acid wash is gonna be so what i'm gonna do is create a new layer and i'm going to get a different color and i'm going to tell them this is where i want the acid wash to be at so, so if you have another logo anywhere else you could just drag something make a color any color this is literally just the end of the tech pack it's not that hard make this in like five minutes you can also add your measurements like if you want a specific measurement to the hoodie just send it to your manufacturer and tell them you want a specific size chart there but it's not that hard to make a tech pack it's just showing your manufacturer your blueprint of your hoodie just for them to understand it better it don't got to be complicated it don't got to be nice it don't got to be neat y'all can literally see i just made this in five minutes on my mac but like you literally make it on the way you make it on your phone it ain't that hard a lot of people be saying oh, oh how do you make a type pack? how do you make a type pack it's not that hard you can literally make it on your phone you can make it on instagram i seen someone make a type pack on instagram that's crazy so it really ain't that hard. After, once you send your tech pack, three questions you need to ask your manufacturer. What is bulk price? What is sample price? And how long is production? That's all I would do for a tech pack. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one with a, a different type of logo. So it's not just some simple logo. So y'all can definitely see how to make a tech pack on a more complex logo. We got a new file. Let's put our hoodie on there. For this one, I actually don't have the logo files like right here. So I'm gonna just have to do it off of like look we got this hoodie first things first what i would do definitely draw lines to it touching the hoodie make sure it's not the same color by the way let's i'm gonna just get blue i'm gonna make sure that the line i'm talking about is touching the logo so y'all can see right here this line is obviously touching this logo so i'm talking about this logo and this logo i'm gonna put 
a silicone print. You can also put a picture, an example you're talking about on the mock-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and find an example right now. So y'all can see right here, the manufacturer could definitely see this is the essential lettering that I want. You got the essential lettering right here plus the picture of it so they definitely gonna know what type of print it is. We're gonna do the same thing to every single logo. You know what I'm saying? The blue line go to essential lettering and then we're gonna make another line putting the print down here. And for this print, I'm going to do screen print. What I would do if I had the PNG, the logos on top of whichever print I'm talking about. So let's say y'all see the screen print, there's a little A behind it. I will put this A on top of here so they know that's the logo I'm talking about, but I don't have that. So you just wanna make sure that the blue line right here is touching the logo you want and just the logo only. So that's what makes it a little bit more clear. Me personally, after I send my tech pack, I like to explain everything on my manufacturer again. So y'all can send a tech pack, they look at it, and then you could just explain everything all over again so they could get it in their brain. Because some manufacturers, bro, bro, they will look at your tech pack and just make the complete opposite. Put this woven tag right here. Under it, I'm gonna put custom woven tag so they can see. If you don't have enough space, you don't have to put the woven tag on there. We're gonna do heavyweight zip up hoodie, and then we could also do 500 GSM. So we can let them know. Depending on what type of fit you want, send your manufacturer the measurements and they can make it exactly like that. But literally, this is all it is to making a, a tech pack, bro. It's really not that hard. It's just making a blueprint. Fortunately, it is going to be the end of today's video, bro. I hope you guys all learn something. I just want to make this quick little video to show you how to make a tech pack because a lot of people have been asking me, how do you make a tech pack? Can you make me a tech pack? No, I can't make you a tech pack. Make it yourself. If y'all new, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, bro. I appreciate all y'all for watching this far, bro. If y'all haven't, bro, everyone go check my Discord out. Link in the bio, bro. It is $15 a month for all this stuff. Y'all going to see it on a list right here of everything that we got in the Discord. All of this for $15 a month. Yeah, we currently got like 300 people in there. So we are raising the price soon within like next week, probably like to $30. So if you guys are watching this video, it is still $15 while this video is out. So y'all go cop, y'all go cop, y'all go cop before we raise it to 30 because y'all probably like, yo, how is all of this sauce in one Discord for $15, bro? Yes, $15. If y'all new, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one, bro. Had all the odds against me, almost went for God It rinsed me, felt it wasn't right to call on God and need But now when things are smooth, instead I stuck it out And held my own and figured out my wrongs until I wrote them right First thing I did was took the extras out the Sprite It slowed me down, I needed extra speed